What's good, weeders? It's the Owl Freedom Farms. Anyways, I want to talk to you guys a little bit about when to harvest your plants, how to know what you're looking for when you're getting ready to harvest your plants, because you don't want to harvest too early. Patience is key when it comes to taking your cannabis and, uh, and your flowers. So anyways, and also it's been super hot here in the North Bay area and uh, it's been up to what Monday was 112 yesterday was uh, 107 today's 101 tomorrow's 106 so watering how to water and uh, <clears throat> don't just go out and water in the middle of the afternoon in the heat of the day you uh, you wait and uh, so we're gonna we're gonna get into this a little bit okay <clears throat> first thing we need to do is get one of these it's, it, there's all kinds of different kinds, but I, this is the one I prefer. It's like $12 on Amazon. It's a little pocket microscope, little 60 power. And uh, you check your trichomes. I like to get my trichomes around 30% amber and uh, the rest is cloudy, all right? So <clears throat> let's talk about, let's start with the watering on a hot day because it has been hot. So what you guys want to get, you definitely to make sure as you can get this thing, it's like 12 bucks on Amazon as well. And it's just a little water meter. You have the moisture level. You can also check the pH in your soil. And uh, so you just stick it in the ground. You stick it in there. If you look, it's in the red. And uh, we just put about 150 gallons in on these plants uh, yesterday. And so uh, I have a compost tea. It was just compost, worm castings, and about a cup of molasses. And... Uh, and a little kelp that that was about uh that was all i put in there and i used the kelp and uh because of the heat but if you guys are putting silica in your plants silica definitely helps with the heat and you can also put in uh aloe, aloe like aloe vera and you can run aloe vera you can even spray out that on your plants uh, of course you don't spray anything on your plants until it's freaking until it's sun is off your plants and that's uh, gonna stay off your plants for a while. So anyways, let's take a look around the garden and I'll start, uh, I'll start right here. Just behind me is the uh, is Double A and Silver Square Farms. This is the Early Pearl crossed with Odin. And I can tell you this one's just starting to, to really fill out. She's probably, I'm gonna guess three weeks into flower and uh, she's gonna be mid-October probably before she's ready and, and ripe. And uh, let me see if we can look here. Here's one of the keys. I'm gonna find a little bud here. You're gonna look for these little white hairs. They're called little pistols. And when those start laying down and turning brown, you're getting close to harvest time. Don't harvest with white hairs on your plants. That's way too early. You're, everything is going to be in, uh, it's gonna be more of a head high, right? It's not gonna be your, the good high you're looking for, the, what you're looking for in your medicine. So. Wait, be patient. At least wait till everything lays down and turns brown or red or whatever your strain is gonna do. So okay, I'm just gonna go over here. This beast, <laughs> the size of these buds. This is Jane Deere's plant. This is the Trinity Red crossed with train wreck. It's freaking one of my favorite plants in the garden for sure. She's absolutely beautiful. And uh, pull this shit, dead shit off of here. But uh, <clears throat> anyways, Great plant. She right now is still clear trichomes, so she's gonna get fatter, start beasting up. Oh, another thing I put in, been putting in my my compost teas now is I'm feeding the plants with that incredible bulk. It's an organic uh, bloom booster, and uh, it works great. And I just put it right in my water in my into my uh, my reservoirs before I pump my water onto the plants with the, with the compost tea. I just do it right before I pump, I put the incredible, incredible bulk in there. So let me stick this back down. Let's check out these peppers. Let's not look a squirrel. So anyways, <laughs> we've got all these, uh, these are the Diablos, Serranos, and uh, we're gonna make some salsa today. And uh, I love these Diablos, it's just loaded. So we're gonna make some salsa today and get that going. So let's come over here, I got another one from AA. This is my, my biggest plant. And this is the uh, stra uh, Kimona Strawberry crossed with Odin from AA and Silver Girl Squirrel Farm strain. And she is a beast. She's probably eight feet tall and she's probably just as wide 
and uh, you can see how she's popping out this six foot cage like nobody's business. <laughs> but yeah, and anyway, she's got a long ways to go. She'll be very end of October. She's not gonna be uh, any sooner than that. Obviously she's got a, a lot of sativa in her and uh, in the mix, she's definitely got some sativa in there. All right, so we're gonna go over here. This is a little uh, blueberry, a uh, blueberry bakery. And you can see here she's, <clears throat> oh, a caterpillar hole now. But she's got, uh, still got some white hairs on her. She's still uh, just starting to turn cloudy. And uh, she's, so she, I'm gonna guess she's gonna be end of September, probably before she's done, because she is starting to turn cloudy. And uh, anyway, so that, that's with that. And right now, everything loves to eat your sweet plants. So if you got plants out there with a nice sweet odor, get ready because the bud worms are coming. The moths are gonna start laying their eggs on your buds. And uh, yeah, you're gonna end up with all these little worms in there. It's definitely caterpillar season. Everything wants to kill your plants. BT is the trick on that and a, and a good spunicide. Uh, like Monterey Insect Killer is one I use, but Captain Jack's, uh, you'll find those out there. You can find them in the markets. Anyways, spray your plants. You can spray your plants right up to about a week or two before harvest. And then I like to wash, wash my buds now. I like to get all that shit off my plants before I, <clears throat> before I uh, start drying them. I'll do a bud wash, we'll do a video on that. You can see one that I did with NorCal Style uh, a couple years ago. And we did bud washing during the fires to get the ashes and shit out. And I was surprised at how much shit comes out of your plants. It doesn't hurt anything. <clears throat> so anyways, this is another blueberry bakery. This was the first plant I planted in the garden. And uh, you can see her, everything is turning brown. She's got a little bit like right here, still white as far as the uh, the pistols go, the little hairs. But most of them is turning brown. She's getting a little purple. We need our cold nights again to get them to really start purpling up. And uh, they were doing great when we were in the 50s and the, in the nights, the nights were dropping in the 50s and everything was, uh, was beautiful. And uh, <clears throat> so right now it's been dropping just into like 60s and, and there's getting beat on by the heat. But she's like, maybe 5% ambers right now, and the rest is cloudy. She's gonna be the first one to come down, and I'm thinking, I'm thinking she's gonna be done in about maybe maybe a week or two. She'll be coming down. She'll be coming down this in September for sure. All right, let's go check this one out. Wait till you see the beast colas on this one a bit. This is Hefty Lefty so mango. This is some mango crossed with, with Jaeger from Hefty Lefty. And uh, what a freaking beautiful plant she is. And she's, she's still, uh, uh, she's probably about 50% clear and about 50% ambers now, but she's another sweet smelling plant. So you gotta have to really watch her for caterpillars and really start watching for worms. I mean, worms will get anything, but if you go over here, back over to this Trinity Red uh, cross here, very pungent, old school, freaking awesome smell. <laughs> but I'm, it's, I'm not worried as much about caterpillars on her because they're gonna attack these sweet strains first. <clears throat> and uh, so, hefty. These are some beast buds, dude. They're freaking fat. And just, I'm just, especially look at that one back there. Just massive. <laughs> so, and this one here, this is uh, one, of the, one of my strains and, uh, that I did seeds on. And I don't know if it's my Napa Valley Purple Kush or if it's some seeds I got from, uh, through the, through the, from a subscriber. And uh, it was the uh, Sky Kudler Kush. And I'm not certain because I lost a name tag and it was a replacement plant that I put in probably, it's probably, I don't know, this tall one I stuck it in and it was like mid-June, and as you can see, I mean, she's she's doing good. But I, can, I don't know which one it is yet. She has the structure to me, like the Napa Valley Kush, but I can't tell yet. Once she gets more odor, I'll be able to, I'll be able to tell. But she's doing good, but again, she's gonna be late October before she's done. And 
uh, so anyways that's about it you guys I mean I got tons of peppers sunflowers I mean and uh, oh yeah when it comes to watering water in the mornings and you water in the evenings okay you won't want to water in the middle of the afternoon it, uh, the plants a lot of times won't be, won't take it up it's just too hot and then it just sits in there and becomes like a swamp so you want to water in the morning give the, those plants time to absorb or in the evening when it's cooler and it's not going to be swamp water sitting inside their pots and then the, and then they'll start off in the morning and start absorbing it because you don't want root rot and uh so you, so you, and don't over water like uh i put like like i said 150 gallons on and it, it saturates in pretty good but I'll, I'll use 150 to 200 gallons in this garden and that includes everything out here the vegetables the sunflowers and everything so i guess just don't over water get yourself a little water meter check things out and uh yeah your plants will thrive even through the hot weather weather so all right peace you guys peace to the veterans military personnel men and women in blue god bless you nurses and god bless you weeders love you guys peace